Uh, hi folks, I just got caught by surprise. I was actually heading to the area where we were supposed to go. I'm not sure where I am on the map, but then just this just triggered as I was, as I was flying in Ba'u. With Ba'u, I should say. It feels like it was ages ago that I left. You feel the same way, Ba'u? I have no idea what's going on here. You're talking with Ba'u? I guess she is. Yeah, we were just remembering the time that we first met. Would you mind telling me about it? She doesn't have to if she doesn't want to, Yuri. A long time ago, Ba'ul used to live on the summit of Mount Thames, yes. The townspeople all feared him. They thought of him as a giant, ferocious monster. Looks could be deceiving. But I talked to Ba'ul, and eventually we became friends. About how old were you then? I don't remember exactly, but I think I was pretty young. Okay, fair enough. From that point on, we started traveling together. My dad came too. Who's your father? Your father did? My dad had a fierce passion for Blastia. I feel like I was influenced a lot by him as I grew up. Soon after that, the Great War happened. I was about to become a statistic, and then Ba'ul saved me. Oh. You were right in the middle of that bat of the battle, weren't you? I guess so. Yes, my fellow Critians took me up into Miorzo for a while. But I went back down to the surface, right. And then I decided to travel around the planet with Ba'ul. Okay. Destroy all of the Hermes Blastia and rid the world of its negative effects. And that's how you came across Estelle. I see, so Ba'ul saved your life. I'm not sure how, though. Yes. I feel like I understand the connection between you two a lot better now. Thanks for sharing that with me. Dad. Yeah, something obviously happened to her parents. I don't know if her mother was around at that point, but yeah. The secret of Yuri, too? Why did Yuri fall at Zod, anyway? The core was falling, so I couldn't see very well. Did he slip? Dear, what a clumsy lad. He wouldn't be able to do much about Alexei. It was pretty hot, so maybe he just wanted to take a refreshing dip. Returning to the embrace of Mother Ocean? That's not like the boy at all. Still... Imagining it makes me want to crack up a bit. Um, so did Yuri not tell them that Sodia stabbed him, and did nobody see the stab? Yes. That's kind of alarming, it's probably gonna come back back to haunt us at some point. So yes, I gotta find that Arctic area. I was right about being there, but the problem was I approached from the wrong angle, from what I could tell. Crap, where was that Arctic area? Uh, I was going to get all situated and stuff and figure out where I had to go exactly, but now I'm all confused. I'm all confused because I want to record that cutscene. What's wrong with me? It's not here, is it? Maybe it is. Okay. So yes, I did have to look up where to go exactly because I was kind of confused as hell. Uh, which way is it, though? I think... So yeah, I was right about coming back here. Okay, we need a holy bottle. Oh no, not that. Holy bottle, holy bottle. Thank you. Okay, that was sort of weird how it was rotating like that, whatever. Apparently you have to approach from this side, because otherwise you cannot reach the air cranny. I don't know what that's all about, but whatever. Yeah, I don't know why I got con- oh. Oh, it's gold, gold, gold. <laughs> so gold, 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 gold. Right, because Raven said we're going back to the cold. I should have taken that as a sign. Yes, this is where we're supposed to be. So, what are you going to do with the air crane? I'm going to use the energy to make an air converter. Okay, whatever an that is. An air converter? Do tell, Rita. My plan is to efficiently convert the air into matter, decreasing the overall amount of air. Okay. But for that, it's ideal to have the converter use energy similar to both air and matter. How is that energy different from air? Elementally separated air transitions into matter in stages and eventually becomes stable. Um, is that the music playing in the background? I'm going to stop its transition between the two states and develop a converter. Oh no, it's my iPad. <laughs> I was so confused. Like, what the hell was that noise? Don't know? Whatever, look at that later, guys. I'm recording right now. So it won't be air or matter? I don't know if my mic picked that up either, so... 
It's a state that's closer to matter than to air, but it's still not quite matter. Sure. We call it mana. Mana, huh? Mana. To think that one short utterance could hold more gravity than the light used to lure fish out of the frigid sea at night. Again, for weird metaphors. <laughs> it actually has a really long, complicated name, but mana's good enough. Ugh. My far is trying to call me, guys, but I can't but take the core. It'll still right be now. less stable than actual matter, so we'll need something to act as a core. The Epithea. Oh, right, the Epithea. We got that last time. And a lot of air and Estelle's power to recombine the formula. Using my power without the control formula will unbalance the air. It'll just flood out again. But we can't just sit here and ignore that thing. Right. And. Yeah? It's a bet I'm willing to take. Uh, you sure about that, Yuri? I guess I should be the one trying to stop you, but I'm game to get in on this bet, too. Oh, that, okay. I, I'll wager a billion gold on that. You don't have a billion gold. The theory is correct. It'll be okay. Gonna hold you to that, Rita. I'll return this billion gold to you many times over. You don't have a billion gold, either. <laughs> oh, truly now? Yep. Come on, let's head to the Air Creme. Raven, you doing alright? See, if I would have triggered that scene by coming this way, I would have known I was in the right area, but no, I just came in the other side. The problem is, how do we get back to that place? I don't remember. Is it this way? I cannot remember the path. Oh, something's happening. I tell you, thinking of a converter for air. You're quite the thinker. That's our genius mage girl, Rita. Yep, yep. Well, I had a hint to go off of. From who? Come to think of it, you did say you'd investigated Zod, didn't you? I thought it was Zod Day, not Zod. Despite its amazing size, it wasn't running off of air. Oh, really? Even though it was a barrier blastia to protect the entire world. A barrier blastia? Oh, yeah. They were protecting the world from the Autophagos. Yeah. You mean to say it's been there for a millennium? It's as dogged as a philosophizing anemone. What is with these weird comparisons, Patty? All of a sudden. Same goes for the Autophagos. It's been clinging to that barrier for just as long. Mm. Alexei seemed to believe Zod was a weapon, but he couldn't have been more mistaken. Yeah, it was actually used to suppress the Autophagos, right? But the runaway air was the cause for the Autophagos awakening, wasn't it? I don't know what that... Ah, so that's why they would use a barrier running on power other than air. But then, what sort of power was it using? That's a very good question. The children of the full moon, perhaps? It was actually energy taken straight from them. Oh. Inside that giant core, it continued to power Zod as a virtually perpetual formula. They've always been pronouncing that area as Zod there. Why is it now Zod? One syllable. Most likely, the energy was taken in exchange for their lives. Oh, yeah. The light of life was extinguished from the children of the full moon. That's pretty messed up. Sacrificing yourself to save the world, I mean... So that's what Miorso's legend meant. According yeah, pretty to Duke, messed up. They did it of their own free will. They wanted to save the world. I mean, a very noble cause. Give yourself up, save, like, billions of lives, but still. Not an easy decision to make overall. The love the children of the full moon bore for this world is what created the barrier. The power of love. Makes you want to cry. <laughs> okay, Huey Lewis. They sacrificed themselves for the world. The children of the full moon were protecting us the entire time. Let's make you wonder how many of them were before Estelle, I don't know. So I guess we're on the right track with that scene triggering, and there's new enemies here too. Like, did I just pass a snowman in a cannon? I don't know what that was. Here we are. Check. That monster's not gonna show up again, right? Did we kill it? If it does, you'll beat it up for us just like the last time, right? That can be that simple. You mean. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Estelle, come over here. I really hope this works, yeah. Rita. I'll release the control formula. Once I do that, the air crene will react to you and produce more air. I want you to recompose the air formula into a stable formula closer to mana. Yeah, I don't know what she means by mana exactly. Uh, um, I don't understand. I don't understand either. Yeah. Okay. 
Layman's terms, Rita? The water element is strong here, so imagine flowing water and let your body flow with the air. Okay, that's a weird, again, weird assumption to make. The theory behind materializing air is the same as performing magic. You say so. If Estelle can recompose the air into a state close to mana, then I should be able to guide the air into the Cyanociel. I kind of think of it, aren't there like games like Trails or Trials of Mana and like the Secret of the Mana? Is that related to what we're talking about here? Can we do anything? No. Go take a nap or something. Sure. We'd freeze to death if we took a nap here. True. We're pretty handy, you know. We can cook or fish or anything you want. Just tell us what to do. She just said to stay out of it. I wouldn't say anything. We can use the conversion formula we found in Zaude. See, now she's saying it as Zaude, not Zod. What's going on here? Was it the inconsistency? That was for substituting life for air. Your life! You can't do that! But if this fails, then we'll all be swallowed up by a flood of air. We'll be dead anyway, right? Ugh, this is getting really confusing to me. We're all risking our lives. Yeah, we've already risked our lives plenty of times already. Let us help. All right. So they're willing to let themselves die in case this does not work? Is that what's going on here? I'll use your life energy to guide the air into the Cyanociel. If we do that, I think Estelle will understand the flow of the air without interference from me. All right, everyone. Let's do this. Uh, it's going to be automatic yeah. or something? Why not? <laughs> yeah, why not? Why do I have a feeling this could... Here we go. Well, I don't have a feeling that this is going to be like an involved activity. Oh boy. Go ahead. Okay, nice moves. <laughs> Try and synchronize yourself with my formula. There, that's good. <sighs> oh, okay. Um, oh god, I was right. Confirm rules, please. Air conducted by Rita will flow from right to left on the top line in color, okay? Oh god, it's a rhythm thing. Press the button corresponding to the color of the air at the correct timing when it overlaps the Stella's force field. Represented by the blue mark to reconstitute it. If the button is not pressed at the correct timing, air will leak, so beware. The gauge on the right represents the amount of mana collected. Mana collected. Collect the specified amount to clear the game. Oh boy, okay, so it's gonna be like... Uh... Oh god, yeah. Wait, a little too quick for me. If I fail this, do I get like a game over and lose all my progress? I never was good at these rhythm things. Never was. Never will be. Oh, balls are rooney. Well, almost halfway there. Is it gonna get harder? I'm getting stressed out here. It reminds me of that like heartbeat thing from uh, Man of Madon. It also stressed me out. Oh, okay. That wasn't bad at all. They got a trophy the at least. Collecting in the cyanocell. The formula is working. The force field is stable. It's gonna be okay. Good. Uh, uh, Don't uh. Something's going on here, isn't it? Still, you. I don't think Estelle is okay. Hell if I know, Rita. You said it would be okay. Formula for reshaping the Apatheia. It's reformulating itself. Is that good or bad? Pardon? Um. Right. Doctor Evil quote. Friend or foe? You are who? That voice. Bellius? That's what Bellius looks like? Judith. Yes. It is I, Bellius. Or rather... Are you communicating telepathically? I was once Bellius, but no more. Okay, I'm, I have a lot of questions. What's going on here? Could the will of Bellius trapped in the Apatheia have... Amazing. Rita, come on. I feel the water 
waters of the world at my command. I am the ruler of the waters. Okay, so did it work? Is that what we were trying to do, is revive Bellius? It's gone way beyond working. I never thought it would gain a will of its own. Oh. Nature's mysteries will forever transcend the limited scope of our imagination. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you on this one. Yeah, me too. Humans? What creature am I? Though no longer Bellius, the Intellicaea. I don't know what to call you. You have granted life to me. I ask that you give me a name. Oh, don't make me do that. A being that controls the essence of a material. Maybe you're a spirit. And so my name shall be... Yeah. The Splishy Splashy Watercolor Queen! No! Someone smack Carol over the head, please. An ancient word for the ruler of the waters. How about Undine? Is that where it comes from in Undertale? You know, the Undine character? Is that where it comes from? Undine. Henceforth, I shall be known as the Spirit Undine. Yeah, because it was with a Y in Undertale, but this is with an I. I don't know. Cause I did watch Jacksepticeye's run after I finished the game, and he, he does pronounce it as Undying, right? Such is the benefit of the air which you saw fit together for me. It wasn't any cakewalk either. Come on, Carol. Receive this now as token of my thanks. What are you giving us? Oh. Undini, we need to get the world's air under control. Please lend us your power. Okay, first Estelle calls her Undine, and now she's saying Undini. Yuri, come on, make it. Very well. However, my powers alone will be insufficient. So, why is there so much inconsistency with the syllables of these words? Huh? Oh, wait a minute. Insufficient? Does that mean we've got to revive the other into a care? I control only the waters. You must gather those who rule the other elements as well. Like what? Wind, fur, um, fire, earth? The elements of earth, water, wind, and fire. Oh. We need at least three more. Okay. Powers combined, I am Captain Planet, am I right? We'll need help from the other Entelikea, won't we? I. There are very few Entelikea left. Pharaoh, Gusios. I'm not familiar with Gusios. And Baul! Not Baul. He hasn't taken in enough air to create an Apatheia. Okay, if you say so. And on top of that, I won't allow it. Hmm. Undine, do you have any ideas? The shining forest of Ariolumen and Relevies, the root of the world. I don't know where those places are. Let's hope he does. Okay, bye. She disappeared. I'm sure she's still around. No, she is here. I feel her. It seems like the air crane has quieted down too, even though we're not controlling Estelle's power. That's good, really? right? Dean is controlling Estelle's power? I assume it's a good thing, right? You mean Estelle is really free? I'm hoping. Yes. Yes! Cool. Very dramatic music they have playing now, too. That's great, Estelle. Well, things are sure taking a turn for the strange. I'll say for the better, Raven. Yeah, I never would have dreamed any of this would happen. But we finally see the light at the end. Uh, well, we still got five, probably a few more bosses for that, but yeah. <laughs> it's a pinprick, but as welcome as the rays of sun that pierce into the ocean's depths. Again with these weird comparisons, Patty. Come on. Why did music stop? Oh. Freeing Estelle. <laughs> Rita, you look happy. So do you, Yuri. There's no longer anything shackling Estelle. She can use her power without causing any harm to herself or unbalancing the air. So yeah, I'm happy. Estelle's really free! There's no guarantee she won't overdo things again, though. We'll just watch her closely. If we don't, she might go back to healing people till she keels over. So this Undine character is suppressing her air so that she could use healing arts without penalty, right? Is that what's going on here? But to solve the world's problem, we need to get more of these Entelikea to be revived or something. Is that what the story is leaning towards now? I'm trying to figure this out. I'm usually good at figuring things out, but then more complex things are a bit out of my reach, you know? 
that's the gist of what I can understand at this point. Is Undine really here? Yes. I can't really explain it, but she is here. I can sense it. Perhaps she dwells within Estelle. No, I think sure it's just her presence is here. Well, she was created through Estelle, so maybe the two are connected. Hmm, that's a good point. Very interesting. Hey, save the research for later, okay? Why are you looking at her like that? I know, I know. You don't have to... What was that? What, what was that just now? Isn't that where... Where what? It came from the direction of Zaude. Oh. Anime style cutscene. <laughs> What's happening at Zaude? Oh, that does not look good. And the boats are still there too. That's even worse. That was even worse. There's the Adafagos again. Multiple Adafagos, okay. Yep, me think some serious shit's going down now. Cause that whoever that thing is, it was suppressing the Adafagos, right? And that just appears to have disintegrated. So I guess like, nothing is holding the Adafagos back? The lore in this game is a bit complex for me, like, oh god, what the fuck is that? Nothing good, that's for sure. The Adafagos. No. Has Zaudi stopped working? Okay, at least I figured that out on my own. Good, good job, me. Uh oh. Do you think we might have done something to set this off? I would say Alexei did, not us. That is the true catastrophe. That thing does look like it could eat the whole world. Definitely. What are we supposed to do about something like that? We'll figure it out, Carol. Don't panic. It's a touch too big to fillet with just my kitchen knife. <laughs> Say the very least, Patty. Hey, Rita. Duke said the Autophagos was born from air. We're born from air. Come on. Huh? So if the spirits convert air into matter, could we do something about the Autophagos if we had enough spirits? I don't know. I just... I don't know. I mean, Undine said we need more to unlock more of them, but... right? I do think it's worth a try. Let's try it, Yuri. Then it's settled. Baul. Yes, I see. Thank you. Can you show me where these are locations the are? Servants of the Atafagos are attacking the city, Norapalika. Oh, Norapalika. <gasps> I guess we can't ignore something like that. Let's go. The Atafagos revive. Ooh, I'm gonna hurt that idiot who brought the Atafagos back. What could have happened at Zaude? Those nut jobs probably fiddled with the thing too much and broke it. Thanks to Alexei, Zaude's no longer functioning like it was meant to. Greed always eats itself. That wouldn't be a problem if there weren't other victims. This guy just never learns, does he? Things are gonna have to hit bottom before he consider changing his ways. But they see that thing about to eat the planet, right? Even an idiot would understand the situation. I sure hope so. Don't tell me Alexei is still alive. Yuri was referring to as if he's still alive. Please don't tell me that's the case here. Do not tell me that's the case. So now I'm sort of confused where we're supposed to be going. They sort of hinted Nora Palka, they also hinted Zade, they also hinted wherever that forest was, I don't remember the name of it. Yeah, jeez, uh, I don't have time for- oh my god, piss off. From behind? We're not doing this, we are- oh, even the background looks different. I saw those waves in the background, holy shit. I mean, knowing the game is not over yet, I am probably going to have to do another heavy grinding session, but we'll play it by ear. Nakai summon bowl, thank you. I try to remember, Nora Palka is the... Yeah, Nora Palka is the, the, the Colosseum city, right? I can't remember where anything is on this damn map. Ugh. Those are the port towns, right? I don't think it's one of these, is it? Let's double check. No, that's Kapwa Noor. I cannot remember. Let me just make sure it's not one of these cities. No. That's Kapwa Tora. 
Uh, I wish I had a better understanding of the map geography, if I don't. That's Dongrest, right? Oh, that's Helior, Jesus Christ. Where the Palka has to be the Colosseum City, right? It has to be. Ugh. Problem is, I don't remember where the hell it is. That's Dongress, I know that much. It's by the tower, right? Right. Dongress is the city by the tower. Jeez. How many more different places can I look? Hmm. Ugh. And apologies for my ignorance, I'm really trying to find this place as soon as I can. Where the hell would it be? Okay, why do they have to make this so difficult? Why can't they just give me like a waypoint system, you know? I think that's North Polka, right? This is the Coliseum City, let's see. Oh, I triggered something. Look! It's hanging on to the city! Oh god, something big's going down. That black thing. That's what we saw in the sands of Kogor. That was Pharaoh's vision. This is real. Be careful. Oh, it looks like it's trying to eat the air of the shield. Is the Atafagos drawn to air? I guess so. This thing looks pretty mean. Mm. It may be, but it's what we've caught on our line. We'll reel it right in. Don't be so sure, Patty. Come on. Are we going to be thrown to? Oh wow! I was not ready for this. Oh no, this thing again. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't want to go in with this team, though. Shit. I didn't realize we were going to a boss fight. That's very ignorant of me. Okay, not that bad. 355, not bad. I just gotta make sure- oh, jeez. Over women already, damn. Oh, you're cloning yourself? You son of a bitch. Yeah, this is not the team I wanted to bring into this fight. I just gotta make sure I don't heal like I did last time I asked. Okay, white means I'm not damaging it, right? It has to be. Yeah, I don't think we're... okay. Good thing I stocked up on items again. That would've been really bad if I didn't. I really hope it can't clone itself again. That's really gonna suck if that's the case. So far, not that tough. I am playing on hard difficulty, I really hope I am. I also don't know if I am or not, shit. I'm gonna be really stupid if I'm not playing on hard. Well, we'll just see what happens, I won't know until we're done here. Mm. We'll not know until we're done here. Ugh. Damn you and your over limit, seriously. Oh, whoa, whoa, he's got a big beam. Still, we could reuse some more heals, please. Mm. I don't know, maybe this is like a prelude to something worse coming, I don't know. Because if we are playing on the hard, this isn't that tough, to be honest. Not that tough. Okay, I will admit this thing gets over them way too often. Way too often. Jesus Christ. I think it's picking on Yuri. Okay. Okay, you're gonna Okay. There we go, that's better. Now you the uh pineapple shell. We are damaging it, that's what that's all I care about. Okay, I don't like the fact that we were down party man. Mm. I can always get more items, right? So I'm not concerned about reusing really them. Go more health, thank you.
How's her health looking? Okay, we are whittling it down. We are whittling it down. Alright, snap out with Judy. We need you here. Uh. Yeah, not really that tough, but I'm glad it's not that tough. After Alexei, I need a goddamn break, you know? I definitely need a, a fucking break. You stay away when he's over limited, not worth it. Okay, you're almost done. I'm not even sure if we're peeking and attack these things, because he's more of a ground attacker, isn't he? Definitely a bad choice to use for this fight. Mm. I don't like that attack either. Yeah, I don't think even Rupi can even attack them. It's really sucky. Because I didn't know I was going right to a boss fight here. I really didn't. I mean, you gotta be close to death now, aren't you? I'm not dead, huh? There we go, okay. What's your story? Are you a stronger version of the other one? Let's go find out. No, about the same thing. Alright, just don't clone yourself again. I'll be hunky-dory, okay? Yeah, I just cannot believe her P's on the team and that he can't attack this boss because he's in the goddamn air, right? I don't think her P can attack this thing. It's really awful. That's pretty really awful. Now that there's only one of them left, hopefully this won't be too bad. Yeah, I don't think I switch party members at, during an actual fight, right? Okay, you gotta go down eventually, you big flying manta ray thing. Oh, I'm over fully over limited. There we go, got the Mystic Art, there we go. Not bad, almost 15,000. So it's a bit more health to go though, shit. Yeah, this thing isn't nearly as tough as we fought the last time. I guess maybe because I'm not healing him inadvertently, you know? I gotta take that into consideration. Do I have any more of the stuff that... hold on. No, I don't have the thing that heals... okay, just use that. Jesus Christ. Got that in, good. Yeah, this is a little tedious, but at least it's not difficult, you know? Like I said, I need a break after Alexei, I'm crying out loud. Either way, I can be very upset if I'm not playing on hard difficulty, because I didn't actually verify that before I started. Okay, 50,000 left, roughly? Getting there, we are getting there. Everyone getting up on this thing already, I want it done. There we go. Yeah, it was. Okay. Not too bad. Again, assuming I was was playing on hard. Of course, it's more than one. Hold your position. We're gonna stop them here. Did Nats die? Or am I? Did that guy die before? I'm so confused. We 
It's getting wild around here. You say that again. You were. I could have sworn that guy with the eye patch died. I guess I'm saved again. It seems that this was the only city to be attacked. What bad luck. This isn't about luck. Where were you, Rita? I went to check the barrier Blastia. It's okay. Its power had been raised. Oh. And I guess the monsters were drawn to it. Oh, right. The power is returned to normal now. Good. We thought raising the power would protect us, but it turned out to be the opposite. You could have known. I'll go see the citizens. Feel free to rest here as long as you please. Yes. Thanks for the offer, but we still have business to do. We better get moving. Can I at least recuperate for a second? You are all welcome at any time. Try stopping by when you have the time. Oh, we will. Thanks. Can I save my game, please? Is there a save? Oh, door's locked. Okay, hold that thought. All right, outside there should be a save point. Right? I can't believe the Autofagos could spawn such a disgusting monster. Oh. The illusion Pharaoh showed us. He was trying to make us feel the power of the Autofagos. But it's no illusion this time. Oh man, are hordes of these things just going to attack everything? <laughs> ah, ow! Hey, no fighting! It's all right, Repeat. He's just a little nervous, that's all. And what's wrong with being a little nervous? I'm not going to run away or anything, I swear. I was a little aggressive on Repeat's part, I gotta admit. We just see if I was playing on hard, though. Yes, I was. Thank God for that. Now we don't have to do the fight over again. Hallelujah. Alright, we go out here, we go down the stairs. There should be a save point by the inn, right? I, again, I could have sworn that guy with the eye patch died when we were dealing with, um, you know, the Ethelakea, the bird Ethelakea, I forgot her name. Yeah, they throw so many names at you, it's hard to keep track. Save point? Save point. There we go. New swat. Yeah, we're at um, a good point to stop. It does make you wonder, was I supposed to come here first, or was I supposed to go somewhere else first? I don't know. I guess in all... Excuse me, I'm gonna get choked up here. I guess no matter what, we do have to do everything at some point, right? We gotta find Pharaoh, we gotta find two other things, and we got to maybe go back to Zalde? I'm not sure. Pick it up here next time. Thanks for watching.